In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a hexagon. So I have a series of four videos that you can watch to accomplish these three beautiful little things. So video one will be telling you on how to do a square. Video two will be showing you how to do a pentagon. And then video three is how I do the hexagon. With a hook size 3.75 millimeters and with yarn that is size 3, also known as sport or sport weight, go ahead and chain 5. My first 3 chains always become my knot. 2, 3, so I hold and I pull the string. And I have 1 chain already done. Now I have 2, 3, 4 and 5. Five. Very good. I join this to the beginning of the first chain with a slip stitch right there. So now I form the ring and I need to make sure that I really see the center of this ring right there. Okay. The string here that was formed because of the knot is ideal that you just hold it here towards the back of the ring and as you do your double crochets into the ring you crochet it along with the double crochets so that later you just have to snip off the yarn and not weave it in okay let's do row one and you chain three one two three two double crochets into the ring so there it is and yes as I told you right just now keep that initial string right there behind alongside the ring so that you crochet it with the double crochet okay now I formed a group of three double crochets now consider the first three chains as a double crochet all right, technically it's not, but the size is the same as a double crochet, so you need to consider it as a double crochet. Chain two, and then another three double crochets into the ring. So we're going to be doing groups of three double crochets into the ring six times, and there always needs to be a chain two in between. So this is my third group. I'm going to slightly pass forward here because I think the idea here is very straightforward. Yes? There we go. All right, so row one, almost done. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six groups of three double crochets all around. And between each group, I have chain twos, all right? So I already did my chain two here. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna join this to the beginning of the, of the row. So you see your first three chains here. So I want you to go to the very top of the chains, which lands pretty much on top of the second double crochet. Careful you don't go here, that's going too far. I want it right there. Grab the yarn slip through and finish up. Now for you to start row two, you need to get this here a little closer to the chain two space. That's where the row two will start. For you to do that, simply slip stitch on the next chain. So you did one here to join and then now slip stitch here again. And then slip stitch into that chain two space and there we go you're ready to start round two go ahead and chain three two double crochets into the chain two space chain two two i'm sorry three double crochets into the chain two space all right so here we go I am doing the corners here. So round one set you up to make the six corners that a hexagon needs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so the chain two spaces are always going to be your, um, your corners. 
And in every corner, you're going to build this group, a group of three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. So I did my first corner. Now, before I start working on my next corner, I need to make sure I chain one. And now I go to the chain two space and I do three double crochets right there. Now I chain two and I do three more double crochets. All right. So you may notice that now you left a chain one space here. It's like a nice big hole. <laughs> so this one here, we're going to use that in round three. So it's very important now that between each corner that you have a chain one space. Cool? All right, so I finished corner number two. So I chain one and I go to corner number three. So I think the idea here is quite straightforward. Repeat until you are at the end of the row. So I'm gonna pass forward, not too fast, just so you can still see what's going on. And then we meet at the end of the row. So there we go, I finished row two. So now you can clearly see six corners. One, two, and one, two, three, four, five, and six. But not only the corners, you also see these chain one spaces in between the corners. And those are very important now for row three. So before we get to row three, let's do the joining here. Make sure that you still chain one, okay, before you join. Now remember the joining has to be done right on top of that middle double crochet. See, right there. Join and pull through. There we go. Now we gotta move up until the chain two space. So slip stitch one more time on the next one and slip stitch into the chain two space. There we go. So, Round three is starting and build the corner right away. Chain three, two double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. So corner one is made. Now you have noticed that before we would go from corner to corner. But now we have a space here. We have this chain one space here. So we can't just skip now from here to here without dealing with that. So something needs to be built into it. And what you do into that chain one space is three double crochets. Before you do that though, you must chain one and then do the three double crochets. And then when you're done with those three double crochets into that chain one space, you chain one more. Now we are at the corner again. And this is where we do three double crochets. And chain two. Remember the corners, you always have to chain two. And there we go. Okay. Awesome. Now you have to deal with it throughout the entire round. So there will be a couple chain one spaces for you to fill and the corners. Remember, corners always need a chain two, okay? And these ones here need a chain one before and after. So I'm going to speed up just a little, just enough for you to still know what's going on. If you have to stop to catch up, no problem but the principle here is the same until the end of the row.
up. Almost done. We are doing another group of three here and then you are done with the round. So for this ornament you only need three rounds. That's it. So chain one, join right there on the top of the middle double crochet. There. And then you finish it off by cutting the string and pull through. Good. Now on the back here I just snip it off since I tucked it in as I did my initial double crochets there. Okay. So you just take a needle with a large eye and a dual point and you simply find a uh, space here to go in and out with the needle as you come towards the side. Okay, now one more time here and that's all you need. So then make sure you don't tighten it up too much. It should be nice and loose. All right, so I like to do my ornaments and um, stiffen them so that they stay nice and steady and sturdy as they, you know, hang on the tree. So on the video that shows on the screen right now, you can go ahead and watch how I stiffen them and how I finish up the ornament. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to work with you on our next project. Thank you so much. Take care.